allowed. You are allowed to be whole. Welcome, fearless leaders. This is Allowed, the conscious leadership and personal growth podcast. And I am your coach, Dr. Keneal Joyce. In this special mini series, Presence for Presence, we are celebrating the 2021 holiday season. I really love Christmas. I love presents. And whatever you believe or celebrate, you will still get something really meaningful from this series. Each day of these 12 days of Christmas, I'm sharing an immersive way to reground yourself in presence through all of your senses and experiences. But because, like I said, I love presents, you'll also be receiving gift ideas. And these will help you to share the love and practice of being present with others that you also love and admire. Now, during this mini series, you will have a chance to win one of these free 12 gifts too. Enter for a chance to win at allowedpodcast.com. And all you have to do there is just sign up. You'll become an allowed insider, which is our free bonus program, where you'll receive special deep coaching sessions, and you're automatically entered to win. Every single gift I mentioned here today is included in this giveaway. So there will be 12 winners, one of whom could be you if you sign up now. You can also go to allowedpodcast.com and find links to where you can purchase these gifts to share the love this holiday. We've also got a special promo code for you allowed listeners. So please go to allowedpodcast.com and click on presents for presents where you're going to get access to a discount and special other freebies that are part of this whole series. Thank you so much to uh, my friends, my clients, my colleagues. And again, these are not things that I'm paid to say at all. These are just gifts that I personally really, really love. I thought they'd be useful to you. And I think you're going to love to either win them or give them. So please go to allowedpodcast.com and get access to that code. I'll go over that more at the end, but namely the main benefit of this mini series is that you are finding creative new ways to stay in presence. Presence, of course, is fundamental to any great leader. It is the superpower that defines great leadership. Leadership is about being, not just doing. And this is the tool. It's really the most important thing for you to understand if you want to be the leader of your own life. And the way to understand it is to be it. It's an experience. So I invite you to play with this. Try a few different things. See what supports you and be willing for that to change, evolve, and expand over time. When you understand how to find presence, how to stay there, or how to return to it, because it's so human to fall out of presence, well, then you will begin to lift yourself out of the typical patterns of conflict within yourself. And in the way that you communicate with others, we often call these patterns the drama triangle. Presence allows you to accept others and situations as they are and to see them, most importantly, as a gift, as something that is there for you as your ally, that there's something great about everything that transpires inside and outside of you. Presence helps you to accept yourself, including the parts that right now you don't accept. Presence is where you find yourself above the line in the empowerment triangle. And you can learn all about the drama triangle and the empowerment triangle in episodes six and seven of this very podcast. If you're interested, so check out the show notes to get links to those. In today's mini series, you will be learning about 12 different tools, tips, tactics, gifts that will help you to potentially ground yourself back in presence. Of course, you can't buy your way into presence. There's no gift that makes you present. Presence is an internal work kind of state. Presence actually is available and here all of the time when we remember to access it. But because we often have patterns that have pulled us from presence, where we pull ourselves from presence and into a state of distraction and threat, it can feel hard to get there. I really like and have found it really useful to have touchstones, symbols, rituals that I have created that have reliably helped bring me more deeply into presence. So each one of these 12 gifts is something that is so fulfilling to me in that way, and I really want to offer them to you. Now today, I want to talk about a really simple way to reground yourself in presence. This is always available, and it is called appreciating someone. 
Now, how does appreciating someone in your life help to ground you in presence? When you focus on anyone, any person, regardless of how you feel about them, and you say, what can I appreciate about them? What can I love? What is endearing? What have they taught me? Whether it was easy or hard to learn that thing. How have they been a gift to me? And I actually invite you to try this with somebody who's been more of a challenge in your life. How is this one here to teach me exactly what I need to learn in exactly the way that I need to learn it? What do I see in this person that I love that actually might be true of me? How is this person a a reflection of the things about myself that I'm waking up to that I love? How is this person here to be a reflection of my shadow, the parts of me that I still repress or deny? How is this person here to trigger me and challenge me and show me where I still have wounding that I want to heal? How is this person here to show me that I can love beyond all bounds and that there are not limits on who is lovable for me? These are just a few questions that you can ask yourself to find presence in the presence of any person in your life, real or imagined, alive or dead, um, with you or not with you. And, And you may find that there are some who reliably bring you to presence and there are some that reliably trigger you. And I invite you to see all of that as actually a different expression of the present experience. And notice what you notice. Now, each day of these 12 days of Christmas, the Presence for Presence mini series, I will also be giving you some really fun gift ideas. And these match the daily topic. I love this series. It's so fun. So each gift is brought to you by either a current or past client, someone who is in my Forward Fearless coaching group, or a colleague I have in the field. You can go to allowedpodcast.com and sign up to become an Allowed Insider and enter to win one of these gifts. Today, I'm offering a gift that was co-created by the wonderful Ms. Anna Bloom. Now, Anna's been a guest on the podcast before. You can listen to episode number five, where Anna and her sister Mary came on the show to talk about doing group work and how meaningful that can be and how to do it in a way that's really, really effective. Anna is now the principal of user experience and content designer at Cash App. She's a former head of content strategy at Airbnb Plus and a content strategy manager at Facebook. She's also a total badass, the author and artist of the book 45 Versus 45, featuring 45 watercolor portraits of people with the gumption to stand up to, Senor Donald Trump. Here it is. She gave this to me in person. It's beautiful. It's moving. And if you are interested in getting a copy, when you we just drop a note into your um your your entry for winning this award that I'm about to tell you about, and perhaps um, she'll send along an autographed copy as well. Now, on top of all of these other things that she's done, Anne is also a vocal rape awareness activist, a women's rights women's movement leader, and the founder of the Vote Like a Woman campaign, which successfully drove thousands of women to the polls that otherwise would not have voted in our last election. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anna is a former client of mine, and she was a member of my Forward Fearless group coaching program. And she actually founded her new company in the middle of the pandemic as a side hustle. So during the pandemic, Anna left her apartment where I believe she was living alone. And she fled to her beloved mountain town of beautiful Park City, Utah. And there she and her roommate concocted a special adaptogenic hot chocolate. And this became the company Lococo. It's marketed as a restorative elixir because of its many health benefits, which are verified and true. And what makes Lococo so special is that it's a nutrient-dense hot cocoa recipe. It's crafted upon a foundation of organic cacao, coconut milk, and adaptogenic or functional mushrooms. And these are known to help the body, mind, and spirit unwind and reboot. And I'm telling you guys, once I got my first jar, 
I was completely hooked and addicted. And this became the definition of my morning wake up. And I am a big morning wake up kind of a person. So it's not like it had no competition. I'm telling you, this thing is second to none. And I've tried everything. I love this cocoa. It is um, warming to the soul. It's spicy. It's rich. It wakes you up. It's healthy. I just feel so, so good when I drink it. And you can also add it to your coffee, by the way, which is what I do. Today, we are giving away a set of four six ounce jars of this amazing cocoa. And if you want a chance to win this four pack of low cocoa, then please go to allowedpodcast.com where you will sign up to become an allowed insider, which automatically enters you to win. If you don't win the giveaway, it's still a great gift idea for your friends, family, and coworkers. And you can purchase as many jars as you want at lowcocomagic.com. This is a really easy way to show someone that you appreciate them. It's heartfelt, it's sweet, it fits into their day easily, and it's a special treat that also is healthy. And how many things can you say that about? Now, drinking it allows anyone to relax and reboot into a moment of presence, of waking up through all of the senses and, you know, the warmth, the aroma, the spice, the heat, the taste, and then the whole body sensation that you get after you see yourself pour this delicious cup. You get the sound, the sound as well, I guess. Yeah, you're you're stirring it. You're listening to the water pouring. It's really a great ritual. Uh, I, I love it personally. I hope that you try it out and you do too. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this podcast right now because season two is just around the corner. We've already recorded several episodes. I'm really feeling very confident that this season is going to change your life in 2022 should you come and listen to it. And it's designed in a really artful way by my team. I hope that you can start with us in the very first episode and keep going every episode after that. It's going to be fun. It's a good ride and it's worthwhile. So please open up your podcast player right now, hit subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode of this season. I'm wishing you a lot of warm, snuggly hugs, delicious times, you know, by the the fire, real or imaginary and a nice warm cup of cocoa to warm your soul and your heart. I'll see you next time. Allowed. You are allowed to be whole.